Let's give him thanks and praise. There is no one like him. Give him glory and praise, everyone. First, for answered prayers today, we serve a prayer answering God. Secondly, for those amazing testimonies of the acts of God, let's celebrate him. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. And all the people came early in the morning to the temple for to hear him. You have come into his presence this morning. Grace to hear from heaven. Receive it now. Grace to take delivery of your own word. Receive it now. In the name of Jesus. And so shall it be. Father, thank you again. Take all the praise. Now, there's something very unique about today. Today is the last day of this prophetic season of infallible proofs. Please understand that God still has the sons of Issachar on the earth who understand what Israel ought to do per time. They are the seed of the prophetic. He confides in them on what goes on part time. This scriptural prophecy is ordained for every believer who care to believe it to experience a next level transformation. Because every encounter with God opens a new chapter to a man's life. On the last day, the great day of the feast, not last days, the last day, the great day, not the great days. This is the last day, the great day of a 40 day feast. Oh, everyone that tasted. So the last day is everyone's day who truly cares for a visitation. Come ye to the waters. Everyone who believes in this prophetic agenda, come ye to the waters. The last day, no matter what we might have experienced, the first 39 days, the last day. If there's an area in anyone's life that is choking, come to the waters. Come to me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. You know. Come. I'll show you the way forward. I'll show you the way upward. I'll show you the way out. Come. So it's everybody's day of encounter. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Today will not be wasted in anyone's life. Amen. Write the vision. Make it plain. Wrong, pursue it. For at the end he shall speak. This is the end. At the end he shall speak. Do he tell his wait for it? it? Shall surely come to pass. He shall not tarry. This is the end of this feast for the year. So it must speak. Amen. 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 Yes. It must speak. Yes. It must speak Amen. for you. Amen. This last day must speak. Amen. Our ministry began to climb from one level to another by hearing from God, by an encounter with Jesus. Our eyes get down to Lagos, raise me people. And when we are done with that, this is the place. Come down here. Now you see. Every encounter with Christ opens a new chapter. You must hear from him today. Amen. Because at the end he shall speak. He shall show the way out. He shall show the way forward. 
it shall show the way upward. At the end, it shall speak. Now, lift up your two hands and ask the Lord for grace to assess the last day's encounter. 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 This last day must speak. It must speak in anyone's life. It must speak in everyone's life. The last day. The last day. The last day. I mustn't miss the last day encounter. I must not miss this last day encounter. I must not miss this last day encounter. Now, in the name of Jesus, help me to remain fervent in the spirit. To stay on the watch. Set me upon my tower so I can hear what you are saying to me. Help me not to make any mistake in my walk with you today. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. And please be seated. Amen. The last day is everybody's day. Seek ye the Lord when he may be found and call upon him when he's near. Isaiah 55 verse 6. The last day, he said, come unto me, O ye. O everyone that has said, come. The last day, the great day of the feast. When the day of Pentecost fully come, the day, not the days, the power of God fair. And their fear was gone. Their dominion was established. Last day, last day, God never lies. Praying prayer expectant as expectant prayers begins with having expectation and our expectation is boosted by a revelation. It is revelation that boosts expectation. Romans chapter 15 and verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime, they were for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of scriptures might have hope. So it is through the revelation of scriptures that our expectation is boosted. So revelation is a booster of expectation. Revelation is a booster of expectation. In Job chapter 14, verse 7 to 9. For there is hope for a tree, if it be cut down, that it will bud again, and that the tender branches thereof will not cease. Now, though the root thereof was old in the earth, and the stalk thereof die in the ground, now wait, yet, through the scent of water. It will bought again and bring forth boughs like a plant. Scent of water, the word. That thou mentest cleanse her by the washing of water, by the word of God. The word. Oh, everyone that thirsts, I come into the waters. And so shall my word be. So shall my word be. So through the revelation of the truth, it doesn't matter where you are, hope is boosted. Hope is boosted. Hope is boosted. And so he said in verse 14 of it, If a man die, shall he live again? All the days of my appointed time will I wait till my change come. Revelation. My change is coming. This can be my end. My change is guaranteed. The word of God says so. Can I hear your amen? amen. That's how revelation is a boost of expectation. If you want to pray prayer expectant prayer, then seek after revelation that shows you God's provisions for you, which enhances your expectations in prayers. For instance, we have our sevenfold redemptive blessings in Christ. He died to receive for us. 
power means being free from the oppression of the wicked. I give to you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions, over all the powers of the enemy. Nothing shall by enemies hurt you. So when we pray, enough is enough to any oppression of the wicked. We are praying according to scriptures. Glory to God. He gave them power and authority over all devils. And what I say to you, I say to all. So, so by redemption, we are empowered with authority over all devils and to be free from all sicknesses and diseases. Glory to God. Riches, we are not permitted to beg. I've been young, now I'm old. I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor a seed begging bread. That's Psalm 37, verse 25. Lord, show me the way out of this predicament. Then he shows up. Glory to God. And then, wisdom. Knowing the way to go about any issues of our lives. Praise God. For wisdom is profitable to direct. So if I hear the distance of men and do it, them, they will say we is a wise man. So operating by the wisdom of God as contained in scriptures. Now, these are all our redemption. So when we pray in line with any of these, we have committed God's integrity to perform. So our hope is boosted because we know it's our right. Amen. And then strength. We have been bought with a prize. We should glorify God in our body and our spirit, which are the Lord's. Amen. Amen. It took my infirmity and bore my sicknesses. By stripes you are healed. Now you are praying the will of God. So hope is boosted for expectation. On the prayer altar. It is by a revelation that our hope is boosted. Knowing what it is as yours. And then we talk about honor. Mm. Enough of shame and reproach. Nobody should ask you again, where's your God? Amen. It's over. Amen. It's over. Amen. It's over. Amen. It's over. Amen. Glory talks about enhanced status. Your changing levels. From glory to glory. From level to level. Never stranded. Always going forward. Forward ever. Backward never. Glory to God. Your path shining brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter until the perfect day. And then blessings means the cure for curses. Amen. Numbers 23, 23. Surely, there is no enchantment against Jacob, no divination against Israel. Blessing is the eternal cure for curses. How shall I cause whom God has not caused? And how shall I defy whom the Lord has not defied? I have received a commandment to bless and he has blessed. And I cannot reverse it. So the blessing of God sets you free and me from all curses. From all causes. Now these are all fundamental provisions of the believer in redemption. And so when you pray in line with any of these, man, you have committed God's integrity to perform and then your expectation is boosted by that revelation. Boosted by that revelation. Glory to God. Amen. Years ago, I heard God say to me, My son, you have two eyes. I said, Yes, sir. That was from Psalm 34 and verse 5. Can you make one to look up and one to look down? I tried, it didn't work. It's anytime you are looking onto man, anytime you are looking unto man, never claim to be looking unto me. But if you fix your eyes on me, you will never be ashamed. Now, that was September 9, 1983. From that time till forever, when God says to do something, I don't think of what a man can do to make it happen. Mm -hmm. 
including me. So I won't think, Lord, you know, I don't have. You can't, even if you do. Do you know the extent to which I'm going? Woe mm. to him that trusts a man and make a flesh. This, his arm. He shall be like a heat in the desert. He shall not see when good comes. He shall inhabit the part place of the earth. And in the salt land, not inhabited. Praise God. Now, that was 83. This is now 2000. It's quite a few days. I've seen this God showing that his heir shall die. It's Jehovah Jireh. Everybody has a mini Jireh. It's Jehovah Jireh. God told me, don't raise money, raise men. And you have more money than you ever need for ministry. Awesome God. God showed me there is no project of his that does not have a budget to back it up. So God's budget is available to his project. The silver is mine, and the gold is mine. Now, you see, these revelations help to boost hope. Anytime. The good news is, today must not pass you by. Something is coming your way that will live with you for life. So package yourself expectantly. The last day is everybody's day, so it must be my day. Ask pertinent questions for which you expect an answer. Call on to me and I will answer you. And I will show you great and mighty things that thou knowest not. Nehemiah believed or expected that something must happen. This shame and reproach in Jerusalem must end. Did it end or not? Yes. Within 52 days, the reproach was rolled away. And then he got rewarded. He didn't ask for it. It came in response to his engagement. So everybody praying uh, kingdom advancement prayers today. Uh, you will get rewarded like a dream of the night. Amen. Because what he sees you pray in secret, he rewards you openly. So this man who prayed by himself, three weeks of fasting and prayer, for the shame to be rolled away from Jerusalem, he got rewarded openly and became governor of the land. From a cop bearer to a governor. Somebody's level is changing. Amen. Please know that intercessions and supplications will hold no profit without expectation. Let him ask in faith or let no other man think he shall receive anything from God. And what is faith? Is the substance of things expected. The evidence of things not seen. Faith is the substance of things expected. Faith substantiates our expectation into manifestation. If it's not expected, it will never be experienced. Now, the good news is your expectation for today shall deliver practically Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. We have seen quite a few things, many, many things, some have not shared their own. But let me tell you this, sharing your testimony does three things. It preserves it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It multiplies it and it perfects it. Keep it and say, where well, can I be saying this? Uh, am I not bigger than this? 
Glory to God. Lay it on how to give glory to my name, says the Lord, or I will cause your blessings. Nobody's blessings here will be caused. Amen. Share your testimonies lavishly. God will keep multiplying it openly. Amen. He will keep preserving it and perfecting it openly. As you share them lavishly, share them lavishly, share them lavishly. I was reminded that I used to give testimonies of 500 naira, 300 naira. Oh yes, openly so, exactly so. Amen. Oh, we thank God the church is growing and we are moving from 21 to 30. We dance and dance, we almost caught fire when we were 90. Amen. <laughs> now, when I go out today for three hours, I don't get less than 200 souls that respond to Christ. We didn't get there for one year. But one year, you see us as if we have frost 10,000. Celebrating God openly. Share your testimonies lavishly. It's not to glorify anybody. It's to glorify your God in heaven. And by so doing, you are committing him to preserve those wondrous acts to multiply and to perfect them. Stand to your feet. You believe today is your day. Help me say it out. Oh, today is my day. The last day is everybody's day. So today must be my day. Help me, Jesus, to stay tuned, to be in the spirit. Yes. For my own encounter, my lifetime encounter, the opening of a new chapter to my life. Now, lift up your two hands and secure the day, secure the day against all distractions, secure the day against all distractions, secure the day to secure questions to your bugging questions. To secure answer to your bugging questions. 40 days. 40 days. The 40 days ending today and today continues till 12 midnight. Help me to maximize. The blessings is out for today. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Now listen. There is no question without an answer from God. There is no situation without a solution from God. With him, all things are possible. For with God, all things are possible. So an encounter with God brings answers to our questions. Bring solutions to our problems. God is the final bus stop for any issue of our concern, any issue of concerns in our lives. So watch out. I will stand upon my watch and I will set me upon the tower and I will watch what you will say to me. And the Lord say, Hey, write the vision. This is the way to go. Praise God. You will hear that today. Amen. The day is declared blessed. Amen. A day of supernatural encounters. Amen. A day of going forward. Amen. A day of good report. Amen. There shall be not one under the sound of my voice today who will miss his encounter. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. The encounter will open new chapters to your life. Amen. Rewrite your story. Amen. And move you forward. Amen. Every one of us shall have a story to tell today. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Each one of us shall have a story to tell today Amen. of a vivid encounter Amen. with the resurrected Christ. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. The day is declared blessed. Amen. It's your day. Amen. It's your day. Amen. It's your day. Amen. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. Amen.